back in a, you know, at least a semi-normal training camp environment? Oh, it feels great, man, having the fans come out and uh, support us. They've been cheering real, really loud at practice. Uh, some of the little kids been going crazy, screaming my name. I, <laughs> I threw him a glove or whatnot, but it's been great. It's been great so far. Yeah, I saw that yesterday. Uh, that kid was determined. Yeah, he was. He was very determined. Yeah. How do you sort of balance that and then being happy that you're hearing that, but also like trying to keep your eyes on the field and, and focus in? Uh, you are. I always want to remain focused on the task, and that's getting better every day. Helping my team is get better every day. Uh, we're just doing, coming out, man, and going hard, trying to. Uh, have a great season. What kind of things are you trying to help some of the younger guys with, like, you know, playing on the other side of you? Uh, with them, I, I try to help them with uh, reading, like, their keys, you know what I'm saying? Uh, making sure that their eyes in the right place when they're in coverage so they can they make it a little easier if their eyes are in the right place. Uh, that's pretty much what I help them with. Can you describe what it's been like uh, working with Ricky Morris as your Oh, it's been great, man. He he got a lot of jokes. Uh, he keeps the room laughing, and uh, he's just a great coach. You know what I'm saying? And uh, I'm looking forward to attacking the season with him. What kind of jokes? Oh, uh, this might be censored. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> I can't really see it. Yeah. <laughs> Do you uh, feel there's a big difference in comfort level for you this year than last year? Uh, I, I mean, I, of course I feel more comfortable just going in my second year here. Uh, I'm going to just continue, man, to keep working hard, man, and keep uh, pushing my team and uh, taking it one game at a time. Any of those young guys stand out to you, especially these first few days? Uh, it's been a couple, man. Our, our ORB room is full of guys that's with, with great motors, and uh, they've been doing a good job of coming out and showcasing they, their talents. Yeah. Justin specifically wanted to say that, so what have you seen from Holland so far? I mean, Holland showed me a lot of stuff last year. You know, he just coming out and he building off that, taking it one practice at a time, uh, building up and uh, growing from rep to rep. I don't see no difference. He playing like he's 22, you know what I'm saying? Uh, he makes it look easy. And uh, it just uh, shows off his hard work, man. He put in a lot of hard work, and uh, he comes out and works hard every day. What have you learned from him now that you've been here for, for a year and learning how to win every day? Just putting in that hard work, the extra work, the extra work uh, before or either after practice. Just working on your craft a lot. Looks more lean. Is that accurate? Did you do something different nutrition wise or just hard work in the offseason? Uh, just the same. You ain't seen me in a minute. That's all. <laughs> <laughs> hey, hey Leonard, I remember uh, last year, I mean, obviously we're coming up off the first week of full, the first full week of camp. I remember last year, uh, you know, the defense, even with such a short time to install that new system, I just remember the defense came out just like firing that first week to the point where it, it, you guys really hassled the offense. Mm -hmm. This time around, it feels you know a little competitive. You guys are going back and forth and trading blows. Have you noticed that? And, and what does that feel like to have that iron on iron? Yeah, I noticed it. It's, I think it's Matthew, man. You know, he a veteran quarterback, so he making it a little tougher at practice. And it, that ain't doing nothing but making us better on defense. And, and that red period was so competitive. It seemed like after Jalen got that great pick mm -hmm. against Matthew, Matthew then tried to fire it up a couple notches. Did you feel that too? Yeah, yeah. He, I mean, he a competitor, man. Since his days at Georgia, we both played at Georgia, so I already know he a competitor. We get two that, more guys. Two how more. How much does that help you as far as just having the level of intensity on the defense and watching the offense go back and forth like that? How much does it help you all? This year? And where would you grade the level of intensity each day? You know, that today you want to turn it into where it is. Uh, the intensity been growing day by day. I can tell guys ready to get in full pads and really get after it. Uh, with the offense, man, with the veteran quarterback, it's, 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 you're getting the best rep, you're getting the best look, and uh, we giving them the best look also. And we're just helping each other get better. Matt, Matthew's always had a reputation for extending plays in the pocket and sort of avoiding pressure. As a pass rusher, have you been able to see that uh, just in those first 
these first couple days? I mean, he been dropping dimes, really. I, he ain't really broke the pocket yet. He been dropping dimes. Uh, I mean, I'm... I know he can. I know he can run. He, we was in the same division when I was in Chicago, yeah. so I pretty much know. I mean, even just play. in the pocket. Yeah, yeah. Like yeah. you can move around. Yeah, the yeah. Really well. He's really good, man. <laughs> I'm sure he's glad to have you on his side. Now. Oh yeah, for sure, for sure. <laughs> right. Thanks, guys. Thanks. Great. Thanks. Great.